It's your boy Lay Back. Another review, another episode, another reaction. Hey! Yeah, yeah. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the uh, notification button as well. Look, we back, man. Everyday struggle. All right, so look, in this episode, they was talking about Meek Mill being denied bail. Yo, yo, Meek Mill's not looking too good for you in these streets, bro. I'm just keeping it 100. Um, in this document the judge had issued out, um, she put in the document like descriptive details about how Meek Mill was messing up on his parole and probation, like how he was putting in fake addresses to where he was really at and all this type of stuff. So Joe Budden and Academics was going back and forth on this and Academics was like, yo, man, the judge being petty. And Joe agreed, you know what I'm saying, that the judge was being petty. But at the same time, what do you expect for a judge to do if in, in the judge mind, they feel like they gave you every chance in the world, you know what I'm saying, to get yourself right and get yourself together. And you just chose to go a different route. So uh, I'm praying for Meek Mill, man. But at the same time, he put himself in this situation. He know how the judge is, who, who he dealing with and how strict the judge is being on him. So you gotta be more responsible, especially when you got so many people that's depending on you and that's, you know, working under you and that's feeding their family from your success. You have to be more responsible. And at the same time, the judge probably is being a little bit too hard on Meek Mill. So they also got into Jonah Lucas um this a little pump on his <laughs> on his freestyle he did over his record gucci gang or whatever so in the record you know uh joiner was talking about you know dudes with you know pink dreads and uh doing all these drugs and all this crazy stuff and so academics was like i don't understand why he even going at you know what i'm saying little pump when he know little pump is not even a rapper's rapper so like why would you even do that it's like little little pump can't even defend itself and joe was like bro it's like it's rap it's rap like what do you expect like who cares if you know little pump don't even know who Jordan lucas is or whatever he's having a valid point of why he feel like he needs to you know attack or come at little pump and people of his ilk as far as like all they talk about is drugs all they talk about is you know codeine and lean and you can barely understand what they saying in they raps i mean what do you expect to happen at some point in time people are going to start calling people out in music you already see them calling them out in like instagram posts and stuff like that i mean what you expect so i feel like it's just friendly competition you know what i'm saying like it ain't nothing crazy it ain't like they beefing or nothing like that he just got on his record and just you know was talking how he felt and he killed it shout out to jordan lucas you killed that record too they also got into like Miguel album. I don't really want to go too far into that. I haven't heard the album, but both of them guys said it was subpar. Joe said the album was trash. You know that's Joe go-to word though, trash. So let's go ahead and move past that. So Jada Kiss was talking about in this one interview that the album is dead or will be dying soon in the culture. In the comments below, I want you to drop your comment on what do you think about the album? Is the album dying? Do you think eventually the album is gonna be out the picture and they just gonna call it something else like a project or you know what they what else they playlist? What do you think? Do you think the album is dying? I think the album is still needed to judge the artist. Okay, we know like mixtapes and stuff like that is cool, but we already know how artists feel when they go into making a mixtape. It's not as serious or whatever. Even if it's original music, but when you putting together an album, I think that's when all the eyes are on you because this is supposed to be the thing that you're presenting to the world that's the most important thing to you you put your heart and soul into this thing and it should be represented that way so i feel like for me i don't think the album is gonna die i feel like it's always gonna be a place for it and they also got into the whole thing between gucci and jeezy they was comparing it to basically saying like joe got real upset at academics on this topic man talking about how just because you like an artist it's cool for you to say that they cold in the streets or it's cool for you to say that they're not relevant right now and a lot of people be ice skating around that fact when it come to jeezy because they like him so much so they and then it came up with a a, a relation to him and gucci saying like yo gucci you know was the dude that groomed all the young artists coming up so now you see in turn that the young artists are lifting him up that's not really happening for jeezy and at the same time jeezy music the last couple years hasn't been knocking like it used to be 
So what do you expect Jeezy to be at right now? He's in a place where he's trying to cultivate something. And even so, his his diehard fans could be losing interest in him. So it's a very pivotal moment for him right now in his career as far as when it comes to this music thing because he was saying he don't really see too many things going on with Gucci outside of music as far as other investments, you know, as far as other things that's going on. So it's like, I mean, it's, it's like Jeezy is really still trying to make his step in the music game and he been missing the last couple projects as far as like he been swinging and he been striking out so let's see what happened with this Jeezy uh project I'm gonna check it out just because I'm a Jeezy fan but at the same time I understand what Joe was saying like I'm not really too hard pressed to go hear a Jeezy record though like I ain't check out the last two joints the the stuff that's been on the radio been cool but I ain't really been you know like hey let me go so I don't know man but make sure you hit that subscribe button it's your boy laid back i'm gonna come back with another reaction soon you already know hey i appreciate all the new subscribers look we're gonna do this for real self-love and positivity man i'm out yeah